The head of Denver Civil Service Commission says the city has been lowering its standards to hire more police officers and firefighters. Says recruits who fail psychological evaluations are still being kept in the pool so that Mayor Mike Johnson can meet his campaign promise to hire more first responders. Yet every other member of that commission tells our Mark Salinger that's not true. Good morning. My name is Nisi Murray. Nisi Murray is the executive director of Denver Civil Service Commission. She says the mayor is pressuring her to hire first responders that are unqualified to continue into police and fire academies. The role of Civil Service Commission is far too important to be been diminished to one which is strictly performative. On the steps of the city county building, three city council members called for an investigation into allegations that recruits who failed psychological exams were invited to continue with their applications. Her agency has come under significant political pressure um, to lower standards, cut corners, um, and even in one case to ignore a um, second psych evaluation that came back um, as not recommended uh, to be hired. The Civil Service Commission is an independent body that oversees hiring for police officers and firefighters. While Murray is the executive director, there are also five commissioners appointed by the mayor and city council. She's here speaking in her own capacity. She's obviously not authorized by the commission to be up here speaking. The commissioners do not agree with what Murray is alleging. The Board of Commissioners is extremely disappointed in Executive Director Murray's decision to hold a press conference and make public comments about commission matters without our knowledge or consent, the commissioners wrote in a statement. We strongly dispute her claims that standards have been lowered or rules violated due to political pressure. They want real community-based policing where you can reform what currently feels like being policed <coughs> and put back in what feels like being protected. During the campaign, Mayor Mike Johnston promised to hire 200 more first responders. It comes as the recruit classes for first responders in Denver have been smaller than expected. Only once in the last three years has the city been able to meet or exceed its target. Now there are allegations the city is cutting corners to try and hire more. So I think this is due to political pressure um, coming from the mayor's office, unfortunately, and I wish that weren't the case. The mayor's office denies those allegations. They point out that the Civil Service Commission is independent and can make their own decisions on hiring and recruitment. We're told Mayor Johnston has never met with the director of the commission, nor given any directives for what they must have to do. Tell me about these psych evals that they go through. Yeah, so they're scored, I believe, up to 100, and a passing grade usually or before was up to 70. Now they've lowered that to they say 60. Mm -hmm. It's before you enter these police or fire academies just to try and make sure what type of person they're getting. Everybody at home, imagine how your workplace might clear out <laughs> if they did psych evals. Be something Our, different. Mark, thank you.